to me, baby. Wow, your cafeteria is as nice as any restaurant you've ever eaten at. It makes sense that a school dedicated to cooking would also be serious about eating. A delicious fragrance wafts through the room and it tickles the end of your nose. Your mouth waters. Do you smell that? That must be our lunch. It smells crazy good. Uh, can I have your attention? Is it about lunch? No, I just wanted to apologize more time. As you see, I was... Howdy, folks. I'd like to make an announcement. Hey, I was... It's about lunch. Everyone cheers. Bye. Shh! Lunch, lunch, lunch. She said, shh. In honor of the new semester, I have prepared something special to share with everyone for lunch. Uh -huh. That must be the smell I smelled. Indeed, that smell. You hold your breath, waiting to see what food this mysterious student has created. You've heard that he's very talented, but were the rumors true? Is this... Colonel Sanders lifts a large bucket above his head. Its contents glimmer in the light. Piled high are huge pieces of chicken, breaded and fried to a crispy golden finish. The aroma envelops you, and you begin to feel warm and safe. Colonel Fa Sanders has filled a bucket with chicken. What a novel concept. Your stomach begins to grumble, as if to say, stop thinking, and start eating. <clears throat> for years, I've been developing a secret recipe for the perfect fried chicken. By my calculation, nothing less than 11 herbs and spices are required to achieve the perfect balance of flavors. You look around and notice that every other student has a pen and paper, and is scribbling notes as fast as they can. But, that's all I'll say about that. What? You think you, you think we want your stupid recipe, dude? <laughs> nah, my dude, nah. I'm just, uh, drafting a last will and testament in case, uh, one of these ingredients is, uh, poison. We <laughs> got him! He looks around nervously to see if anyone else is laughing at his sick burn. You wait to see what zinger. Ishley has prepared to follow up, but she suddenly takes a different approach. Yeah. And I was just, like, writing in my diary. Dear diary, today I smelled something, I smelled something so beautiful. I knew at that moment the only hands of a true gentleman could fry chicken so tender. You see her body language change from bitter and evil to sweet and innocent as she slides closer to Colonel Sanders. She realizes that he is distance, destined for greatness and fame with cooking skills like this. She wants him all to herself. How fucking dare you, Ashley? You see that I want Colonel Sanders, and Colonel Sanders wants me. And you're gonna try and see- I see how this is, bitch. Mm. Oh, please. Mm. Well, Van Van, the man man, if you don't want any, I'll take his. Whoa, hold on. I mean, I guess I'll try it. He takes one bite, and his eyes grow wide. He starts contorting his face as he tries to hold in his pure exhilaration and act unimpressed. <laughs> Easy now. There's enough for everyone. Please, my fellow classmates, dig in. Also, I just realized this down here. She has, like, little cutouts of fried chicken legs on her, on her thigh highs. You take one of the pieces of fried chicken out of this bucket and sink your teeth into it. It's amazing. Next fucking excuse me. Tasting Colonel Sanders food transports you to another dimension. <laughs> uh... Alone with your taste buds. Gripping a drumstick in your hand, you float weightlessly. Focus your mind and meditate on this moment. 
try and identify every flavor. Savor the moment and everything that it tells you about Colonel Sanders' culinary heart. Swim towards the light. The flavors in your mouth are beautiful, pure, heavenly. What a guy. <laughs> That's my line of what a guy. Alone with the flavors, you feel something that can only be described as love for a man, for a flavor. Are they the same? After tasting his food, you try to get some one-on-one -on -one time with Colonel Sanders. I approach Colonel Sanders. Colonel Sanders smiles ever so softly as he approaches. Yeah, of course he would. Look at me. I am, I am, I am, ma'am. He stops what he's doing and allows you to break the silence. Colonel! I was wondering if I could talk to you for a second. Anything for a fellow chef. What exactly was on that chicken? <gasps> How bold to come out and ask. It's an idea I had for a new combination of flavors that will make me my fortune and establish my legacy for all time as I open a chain of highly successful fried chicken restaurants. No big deal. Does he have a chicken staff? He has a chicken staff. It's just you and me here talking. I can keep a secret. In fact, I've got some of my own I'd be willing to trade. What's the rush? The semester's only getting started. We've got a whole two more days to get to know each other. Two more days, guys! He's clearly not going to give it up easily. But it doesn't hurt to be persistent. You know what they say about secrets, Colonel? Shouldn't learning be fun? Aww. You've got moxie, I'll give you that. <laughs> Colonel Sanders looks both ways to make sure you're truly alone. Then he leans in. You can feel his warm breath as he whispers. Just one ingredient. But you can't tell. I use. It's something my great-grandmother taught me. Wow! I'd never guessed that. In fact, you're not even sure where you'd get some if you ever searched. I have no idea where I'd find a white box. While you're wrapped up in that huge revelation, you notice that Colonel Sanders has disappeared. While everyone else is still in the cafeteria, you decide to look for him. You find Colonel Sanders standing outside in the quad. Oh, it's you again. Howdy. Dude's gonna think that I'm like a stalker now at this point. Like, sometimes I like to come outside and look at the school buildings. I think about how my story will continue on after I've graduated. Sounds like you have big plans. I dare say, the biggest. I will leave my mark on this world. You can bet on that. Alone together for the first time. You figure now is the perfect moment to show your personality to him. So do I nag him to show your own strength? Wow him with a big idea to add an additional ingredient to really add, the spi uh, really spice things up. Or be modest but thoughtful. Well, let's be, uh, so, so we're not going to nag him because that's not what we do. We don't nag people. That's not a thing we do. Wow him with big, to add additional ingredient. Nope, it's 11 herbs and spices. We're not, f nope, mm -mm, nope. This is his baby. This is his beautiful baby chicken. Right, we're not fucking with it. So we're going to be modest and thoughtful. Well, I just want to tell you that I really, I really enjoyed your food. Now you've got his attention. The flavors were complex, but comforting. The interplay between salty, savory, and peppery, it was perfect. I appreciate the compliment, Big Husky. I'm sure you'll be a big success. I know we've only met today, but I'm starting to get the same feeling about you. <gasps> Need a moment. Okay. We should head back inside. The next lesson starts soon. Ooh.